guys, Dr. Dan over here. We got Caleb in the house, and Caleb is one of our elite hockey players that uh, just started with chiropractic care. This is his second adjustment. How'd you feel after the first? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. Neck was a little looser? Mm -hmm. Mid back was a little looser? Yes. What position do you play? Uh, right wing. Right wing. This kid is putting in tons of time, effort, energy, dedication to his sport, plus his school, right? Studying a little bit mm -hmm. and training a little bit. Mm -hmm. Training's five, six days a week, seven days a week. What would you say? Five. Skating, definitely five days a week? Most likely. So Caleb's on the ice. He plays for an elite hockey team here in Pittsburgh called the Pittsburgh Vengeance. Um, Starting to just get worked on. We adjusted him first point. You guys will see how we work with a 12 years old. 13. 12. 12 years old. Adjusted great. We're gonna do a little muscle work in his neck. Use the hyperbolt through his shoulders and his mid back. On his first appointment, I think we talked about starting to work on a little stretch behind us. Fingers down, palms down. And throughout the school day, we wanna work on this big stretch in the back. Hold your shoulders back. Breathe in through your nose. And as you exhale, sit up super tall, roll your shoulders open strongly. And now what I want you to hold and do, Caleb, just flatten your fingers down back here. And let's focus on your left elbow straight, and now your right elbow straight. And now twist into your left side, and now twist into your right side. Notice how this right side's a little tougher. This side feels like this. This side, a little tougher, yeah? Mm -hmm. You feel all the tension? Mm -hmm. How do you hold your stick when you're at the line? Um, like that? Yeah. So you see how he already plants himself in his left shoulder back rotation and his right shoulder released forward. So do that again, like that, right? Notice mm -hmm. how you're kind of like this. Mm -hmm. So throughout the day at home, and you're young now, so we don't have a ton of aches, pains, not really aware of too much tension yet. Roll shoulders double open first. And then just like we were holding our stick, notice how this left side is a little easier to rotate than this right side is a little tougher. So we want to start at home to work on this little rotation back into this right shoulder. You can breathe in, breathe out, twist back into it nicely. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, breathe out, twist back into this right hand down. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to center, can double open. Lift head up tall. And then what you're going to do, Caleb, just relax your neck when we stretch and roll. On the left side, on the right side. Now center, chin tuck back, uh, back for me. Like, no, nope, that's tilt back. Yes, like this. Look down a little bit. Oh, right there, perfect. Now left lean. Now right lean. And this is a nice. Uh, neck opener, side neck opener, helps stretch the nerves. You feel how this is like a little tight through here? Mm -hmm. And then over to this side. Back to center. And twist right. And twist left. And lift up through there. Good. Twist right. Back to center. Nice. Look down for me. So on top of hockey, what other sports do you like? Um, play soccer sometimes whenever I'm going to. Soccer? Mm -hmm. That's really it. Don't play for the team though? No, not really anymore because I haven't been able to make it. too much. Mm -hmm. Look down. So what we want to feel, Caleb, up on the right side we have, fill up the big thing right there. Mm -hmm. The tenderness up here. Mm -hmm. So what's gonna happen over the next couple weeks like we talked about in the first point, your first couple adjustments might be a little sore, but some of your muscles might be a little sore, but we're gonna to start to fix this right side. We're gonna iron out all that crunchy neck musculature. Nice, tall sit, chin tucked back. Look down for me. And then Coach Lexi, uh, I think I made you do some rocking with her. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be something you wanna practice at home a little bit, <clears throat> to stretch your knees and your hips out. Mm -hmm. 
And Caleb's got kind of like a double neck, um, double upper, upper cervical spine tension spot on both sides up at CO, the occiput, C1, C2, your first two cervical vertebrae. So both sides kind of tense up here. Um, Caleb also has a little bit of like exercise induced asthma, right? And what we're gonna see is we loosen his neck up and his thoracic spine, that's gonna go away. It'll reduce over the next three months. And then we talked a little bit of possibly about diet, some diet changes to work on some inflammation. But if we, and as we, which we are, we're gonna fix this neck up, he's gonna have less, less trouble breathing more ability to get out there, open the chest up. Definitely on the bench when you get benched offline, right, for a little bit. I know you're t I know it's tough in your pads and all that stuff, but just trying to like, even like stretch back a little bit on the bench and like open the chest up is gonna help you a ton, okay? Cool? Okay. Let's go face down. If we're closed all day, breathing becomes more labored. And if we're open all day, lungs just, not, they can just expand more, right? So as we age and we get older and we get more compressed down here, people start having emphysema and COPD for a number of reasons, but they become chest breathers, short, shallow breathers. We want to focus and work with the kids to get long air down into the diaphragm, down into the lungs. But those lower lobes of the lungs, the lungs that sit way down here, they really like, unless we train to get air down there, they never really get air and we breathe everything up here. And then dust and mold and allergens, all kinds of stuff build up down there. And that's what gives you that chronic like mucus in the lungs or just stress. Now, Caleb, notice how left side feels. Right side's a little tighter, but not bad. So let's just lay here and stretch for a second. So at 12 years old, we have all these growth plates in the body. Growth plates happen at the knees, the hips, every vertebrae has growth plates. That's where your bones get bigger at. Cool? Mm -hmm. So it's way easier for you to stretch and get your flexibility back than it is for you. Your growth plates are fused. So if we don't have fused growth plates, we still have a lot of bone growth to happen. Stretching for him is so important right now so that in the next two to three months, he has no problem getting this inner arch to cup uh, and like sit into his butt, right? So we need to increase his quad flexibility to get his knees to bend better. So last night, the 14 year old kids, some of them were already, their knees are like already jammed up. Oshkosh slaughters, there was one kid that has Oshkosh uh, slaughters. Um, Flexibility, the rocker position. You started to learn, oh gosh, it stinks, it's tough. The older we get, the tougher it gets. I can't and do it. Totally can't yeah. Just, but you will. If oh. You just gotta put time into it. And then, four years ago for me, it was like, oh God, this stinks, I'm not gonna do this, this hurts. Like, Then you do it a little more, you're like, oh, that feels a little better in my knees. Oh, my back feels a little better. Oh, it's getting easier. Then once you start to notice it gets easier, you wanna do it more. Okay, easy toes, nice, nice, nice. Now, push, 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 push. Stop, stop, stop. Push, 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 stop, stop. Push, 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 stop, stop. Nice work. Push, stop, back down. Nice work, see how much closer we got. Mm. Now up here. Push lightly, stop, push lightly, stop, push lightly, stop, nice, now off the toes, nice body, four, five, good on the left, but we know the right foot's tighter than the left foot, push, stop, the right knee, the right leg, push, and stop. Good. Back down. All 
right up into the mid back. Okay, just like last time. Breathe in deep. Breathe out deep. Breathe in, come in. Breathe in deep. Breathe out deep. Shoulders down. One, two, three. Breath in deep. Exhale deep, big man. Shoulders down. Nice. Breath in deep. Exhale out deep. Breath in deep. Exhale out deep. Shoulders down. Nice work, dude. So we found that sore vertebrae. Remember this guy the other day? How's he feel? Terrible. It's still Terrible? Yeah, it still hurts. It's sore. So we got this one to adjust already today. But this upper thoracic spine, this is where sympathetic parasympathetic nervous system runs out the spine and out to the lungs. And this is where he's got some jammed up stuff at right here. So it's tender when we rub it. And if we don't push on it, it's really not tender. So it's not like there's not a problem there because if we push it and it's sore and he's kinked up right here in his mid back, he's got to stretch this mid back for us into that back chain position so that we can get the bones to set backwards. Let's do one more time. Inhale deep, exhale deep, shoulders relax down. Let's see if we can get a little deeper into it. There we go, nice man. Now, easy CT, this is called CT junction. Nice and easy on the left. Nice body. Okay, right side up, all open, relax. Nice, other side can do. Exhale out, one, two, three, flat on back. You'll feel as you do the exercises, the stretches, the rehab, how your agility gets better, your flexibility gets better, your legs get longer, so you got more stride on the ice, which is awesome. Oh, buddy, how's left foot feel? Tight. How's right foot feel? Really tight. Really tight, tight and really tight. So, so, <laughs> so he knows it, but remember we showed you on the front side, when you were face down, like, oh, your right leg's tighter than your left leg. Feel how this is like sore down here? Mm -hmm. Gently twist your knees open for me. Mm -hmm. Now, relax everything. Gently squeeze your left toes down, so curl your left foot. And try to like squeeze that plantar fascia. Did it cramp? I don't know. No? Squeeze down. What's wrong? It's like hard to curl my toes. It's hard? Yeah. How about the right foot? Yeah, like, can't even do it. Can't even do it on the right? Yeah. All right, so lay on your back in bed. No, 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 you're right. Lay on your back right there. That's on your back. There, right there, you're good. Flat on your back. Straighten your pelvis out again. Get nice and straight. Gently, gently. A lot, a lot of what we do, we got to connect our brain to the feet. <clears throat> a lot of what we do, head down. You're going to think, point your feet down gently. You're going to think, squeeze your left toes down gently. Just like that. And then we're going to shift our focus. We're going to think, squeeze our right toes down gently. See how the right side's tougher? Mm -hmm. It's like not as well connected. It's not as neurologically active. You'll hear us say, left foot squeeze for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right foot squeeze. Definitely work on both feet, left side, right side, left side, right side, okay? Double feet squeeze down. This is gonna pair us well with the rocker. The rocker is gonna be the stretch for the quads and for the legs and the ankles and the feet. Move hands up a little bit. And what we wanna see long term with this dude as a young athlete is that hip flexibility increases to the point where we can get his knee up to his chest, okay? So his front legs are tight, his back legs we're gonna work on with some squats over in the gym on the slant boards get his flexibility way back to where it was a couple of years ago. Oh, do you feel the hip in this side? Move your hand up for me. Feel how much tighter this right hip is? So what I need you to work on at home this weekend and next week are your foot squeezes down, okay? Just thinking throughout the day, can I squeeze my toes down, squeeze my left toes down, squeeze my right toes down, okay? This will help us strengthen the bottom of your feet. Ultimately, that's going to turn into more calf, more hamstring, more glute strength. Hands here. And then we know the right rotation pattern is a little tougher than the left rotation pattern. Relax your thumb. Nice, buddy. Relax your elbow. And then we're going to stretch the bicep and the forearm because he's real tight through the bicep and he's resistant through there. Okay, and here. Games this weekend? 
and then we're off to things again. Oh, nice. Nice. I heard you have a middle school scrimmage. When? Sunday, it seems like. Um, but that would be fun. It will be fun. School's fun. Less stressful than <laughs> less work. Show up and just play a little bit. Do the extra left side neck. So here's what you're going to start to notice, mm -hmm. which we said on the first visit. See how this feels? Yeah. It's a little sore. Oh, but do you feel the difference on this right side? Yeah. So your right side neck is tied the whole way down and you got a big, just a lymph node, just something that's been congested. Feel how this side feels here? Mm -hmm. Notice that big bump right there. Yeah. So that's what we're going to have to press on this thing. We're going to stimulate it, we're going to drain it, whatever's stuck in it, and it's going to be a little sore after we work on it, but it's going to feel better and better and better and better, okay? okay. But what, what I say, just be aware of how this feels up here, because you'll start to feel throughout the day how you want to stretch your neck and like really kind of stretch that right side out. Okie okay. doke. Sit up tall for me. you to change your, we, we call this one palms down and back which is good for this thoracic spine that's going to get a little looser for us. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Definitely work on your twist into the right. Look how much better that feels. Now left side, oh, this side's perfect. Now right side, this side's better. But mm -hmm. see how that feels? It's still a little tighter than the left side. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Double shoulders open. All you got to do is watch TV. You got two weeks off of clean and clear time with hockey, maybe a little bit of training, a little bit of practice. Definitely a little bit of rest time in the living room. Mm -hmm. Stretch out a little bit. Cool. Now, we're going to change this. We're going to open the hands up. You're going to go tight to your hips. You're going to try to go fingers flat down. And then you're just going to sit and watch TV and chill out, and you're going to stretch your elbows out now. So, see how this feels? Mm -hmm. So if I say shoulders back and elbows lock out straight, right elbow, left elbow, nice shoulder blades softly back. Feel how that kind of stretches the arms a little mm -hmm. bit. Now, how about if I say push forward, arch backward, correct. Now watch how the left side feels. Nice, see how that sets down. But notice how this side's a little tougher and tighter. Can you tell that? Yeah. Straighten your right elbow a little bit. Nice. Keep the shoulder back a little bit. Right there, now left side. And this is called a coil, it's a slight twist. And this is called a coil. Keep head up tall, look straight forward. Right there. Notice how this side doesn't coil as well as this side does. So you're gonna work at this at home for us. Okie doke? Okay. Cool. That's Caleb, uh, one of our elite hockey players, adjusting neck, mid back, low back. He's got some right side neck discomfort, some right foot, right leg work that we got to do in the gym. We're going to do the rocker position. He's going to work palms down and out. He's going to work palms down and in. He's going to work on his thoracic spine posture, right side, left side. So we increase his rotational power, right side, left side, which turns into skating on the ice, turns into running on the ground, and ultimately makes us a little bit more smoother, fluid athlete that allows us to rock a little easier. Cool? All right, dude.